I got a special request. Everybody down there in northeast end of the arena down there by the beer tent, we had a young lady drop her glasses, and they're down just under the bleachers, and she can't see very well without them. Would all of y'all take a second and look under your feet and see if you can see her glasses? Thank y'all. I see how y'all look, and I appreciate that. Hello and welcome to everybody watching on Facebook. Want to say hi to you. Thanks for being here with us, giving you a live look in of the beginning of the action here at Hot Springs Havoc evening session here for our feature night here in Hot Springs, Arkansas. k and Promotions putting on their 10th annual event here. And what they're doing right now is just clearing all the cars from impound. They, imp they impound them on the track before the derby. Once the cars have been cleared, which is just a couple more here, then we'll pull out the compact division to get started with compacts here to kick off our night. Compact feature will uh, start things off. And then uh, you see a couple of old iron cars there. We've got uh, what they're calling a metric or a, a mod style build with kickers. That's going to be coming up following the compacts. And following that is our $10,000 to win bone stock main class feature. 54 cars qualified for that feature event. Some did not make the call. We're going to have 49 making it out onto the track. A couple of the drivers in that main event feature that qualified that will not make it uh, is the 22 of Russell Terry, 57W of Jerome Weaver, 550 of Greg Williams, 74 James Barnes Sr., 73 Mike Sethler. Uh, X of Jared Wagster and the 158 of Eric Rudy not making the call. Uh, adding to that feature is the number 10 of Maddie Wright and the number 79 of Brad Wright. Uh, I know Maddie was a youth driver. There wasn't enough youth drivers to have their own feature, and so uh, they were given the option to run in the main event. So Maddie, a youth division driver running was planning to run in that youth division and uh, now running in the huge 49 car $10,000 to win main event. We are live from Hot Springs, Arkansas. Thanks to Jeffy's Fab Farm for giving you a live look in here on Facebook. Things are going to get started here in just a bit. They're moving these cars out of the way. Once they're clear, then uh, we will be with you in just a moment. Be right back. All right, folks, sorry for the delay. It takes a minute to get 48 cars off the track. We're going to morning start five o'clock and come in here, put a little bit of water down, cut this dust down so y'all aren't choking on that and you can enjoy your show. And then we're going to get these compacts in here, and they're going to show out for you guys. We're calling that portion of the show the Timkey Compact Class. Derek Timkey out of Illinois, he called me and asked me if we could get compacts started in Hot Springs. It's not something we typically do. He's put in a lot of work to get guys here and make that thing happen. Spent the day inspecting those cars, so we'd like to thank him also.
Once again, if you're just joining us on Facebook, we're going to say thanks to Jeffy's Fab Farm for giving us the live look in. We want to go through the driver's list for the mini cars. We've got the 49 of Eddie Schoenfeld, the 47 of Blaine Schoenfeld, Sean Lane in the 63, Roger Tribout in the 91, Eric Daniels in the 416, Derek Temke in the 13D, Daniel Carter, Carter, excuse me, in the D37, Daniel Kimpton in the 28B, Michael Kimpton in the 28C, Chris Martin in the 20, 21, Edward Stockton in the 602X, Josh Wood in the 47, Jacob Wood in the 17, Brian Nichols in the 10, Troy Mitchell in the 22, Chandler Snell in the 11, Chris, I think it's Akers, I apologize, in the 46, Derek Dobbs in the 32, Nick Blakenship in the murder, Raymond Passmore in the red rum, Zach Brown in the 11-7, Ryan Gilham in the 20, Scott Redding in the 29, Zach Gilham in the 4, Josh Gilham in, I don't know what number that is, I apologize, it could be the 21 maybe, it's hard to see, Evan Ussery in the 27, and Kelly Snyder in the 480. We got the fire service on hand here, putting a little bit of extra water on the track because things got dry as cars were parked. Probably stop right there and spray some more again. I'll come back to you fans as the compacts start to roll. We'll go through the list and get ready to go. We appreciate you being here with us. Make sure you're tuning in. We got a uh, Another broadcast coming up in a couple weeks, April 23rd and 24th. It's uh, Spring Explosion. It's in Portland, Indiana. And we've got a sneak peek also of our Derby Builds Season 1. You can check out the episodes coming up on our uh, video on demand library. Check them out. I haven't driven for four years. It just kind of put a bad taste in my mouth for a little bit. So that one's seen better days. It was uh, a target. It was tough to get back in. Just got busy. CJ's eight. Every summer, obviously, is like, are you gonna run? Are you gonna run? You know, and it was Father's Day, I guess. You, you wanted to strip that car out. And I'm like, all right, let's do it. I'm building a car for every city rampage, and so I need to start getting some parts. I, I feel like it, it's who we are, though, you know. I had a lot of people come up and say, are you going to wrap your car again? You got your ass kicked. And like, I like to show off. We were running out of time is all I know. The average national level demolition derby receives over 100 entries from all sorts of drivers. 
Each driver spends countless time and money building up their cars from scrap to prime demolition derby contenders. My name is Mark Klein, owner of DTV, the nation's premier demolition derby video production company. It's been years since my last build, and I'm looking to get back in. Building a car has its highs, lows, and all sorts of tough decisions. Weeks, even months of hard work can lead to breaking in 30 seconds or making the feature. It's time to see if I still got it. This is Derby Builds. Previously on Derby Builds. Not too bad the car. That's the original one. Yeah, that's a big difference. Boom. My son, diabetic, type 1 diabetic, his sugar is 465, and we're going to have to take him to the hospital, my wife and I are. Well, we're heading back to uh, Brian's to check on the River City Rampage build. Last week was a short trip headed that way and kind of got cut short with uh, Brian's boy getting sick and having to go to the hospital. So dropped the parts off and, and headed back, heading back today. I'm not sure how much they got done on the car this week compared to last. So we'll check in and see how things are going and see what we can't uh, help give them a hand with today. I can help you. I can help you. I, my doctor said. I'm good now, so good to pick up whatever. Last week I went back to the doctor for a final checkup uh, for my surgery, and um, good news, he gave me a uh, lifted weight restriction, and so I'm able to kind of just do uh, normal things again, and it feels good to be able to not really worry about what I lift and what I'm doing. We're on the down bar in a cage, mm -hmm. and then uh, we'll get the center bar set in it. Okay. And then uh, we'll get the shifter in there and get it where you like it, mm -hmm. and, the, and the steering column. So, and I had an idea about the steering column. I've been wanting to do this for a while, and I don't know if anybody else has done it or not. But, and of course, this will be kind of up to you if you want to try this. But beans that you're running heats, because normally we run just one and done, you know. So, what do you think about building two columns? One collapsible, but one for the heat. That's just a solid shaft from the gearbox to the dash, like a kicker but it's your steering shaft, but non-collapsible. Uh, I mean, it can go both ways, because if the heat gets ugly. I know. You know? I know. But, you know, it, you would think that it would help hold the front end down, you know? Yeah. Or make it might, might make it harder on the right side. Yeah, true. Too, you know? Yeah. It just kind of depends. Yeah. Or it might make it come up in front of the A-arms. Yeah. You know? It's hmm. just something I've been kicking around in my head for a while on a, yeah. a place that would run heats, yeah. you know, but, or we can just put collapsible in it, and that way we have to, have to mess with it. Yeah. Um, can I think about it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's fine. After discussing the steering shaft options, um, we ended up... All right, fans, we're uh, about to go live here with Compax, and you just saw a little sneak peek at episode three of Derby Build season one. Episodes one through three available in our DTV video on demand library right now. You can subscribe anytime for $19.99 per month. Cancel anytime. And uh, more episodes coming out every Friday night. There are nine episodes in season one. We're already filming season two. And uh, season three plan for the works. So we're going full on in the Derby Builds. Gray Area Demo Parts bringing us the compact class feature. Check out their website at grayareademoparts.com or call the number on their logo. I want to say hello to Ken Frey and uh, Billy Frey. We already talked about them. Shanna Woodcock, Jamie and Shanna watching from Tompkinsville, Kentucky. Brady Hayes turning in from Perrysville, Indiana. Thank you, Brady. Appreciate that. Fabulous. Ray Ferguson in the house. Glad you're here, Ray. Andy Duvall watching with Gracie uh, sorry, Macy, Avery, Olivia, and Gage from Monroe, Michigan. Thanks for being with us. Appreciate all of you tuning in. We love our young fans. Cody Klemke watching from Barbosa, Illinois. Cody, uh, we have beef. You, you, you pranked me and you got me, so I appreciate you tuning in, bud. Thanks very much. Bill Williams says, good luck to all the competitors. Let's hear them engines sing. He's, he's predicting Bob Whitaker first, Vic Whaley second in the main feature tonight. That's a pretty strong prediction. Dakota Patrick, the Patricks and the Odins watching from Paragool. Uh, 
There's the 22. Get the blocks in place, getting ready for countdowns. They're to count them down from five to the word go. We've got a whole bunch of compacts ready to run out here. Be interesting to see how it plays out. Dalton and Suter Wilson watching from Taylorville, Illinois. Thank you very much. They got the big telehandler out to watch today. Those of you that are joining us on Facebook, thanks for being with us. Thanks to Jeffy's Fab Farm for giving us this live look in, giving you a taste of the action here tonight. We've got the compact feature, the mod feature, and of course the $10,000 to win main event feature with 49 cars making their way out for that main event. It's going to be an epic battle. We'll see how it plays out. Make sure you're tuning in at DerbyNation.tv. Boy, they, before they had even on the green and the cars moving off the line. Things are going wild. A couple of Vinto wagons out here, a PC Cruiser. 47 of wood, the OMM machine. 13 d drives itself right into the barricades. Seven right there. Forty nine had to get out the binders there, was about to make a hard drive with door shot. Got a bumper on the track or something over here. This is trying to get the attention. Impact Derby Products track side camp. Got a red flag on the track. We're going to stop for that, that debris. I think it was part of the bumper. Shameless welding red flag. Yep. Rear bumper. Got the Wood Brothers out there, Josh and Jacob Wood, the 47 and the 17. Team OMM at Blizzard Bash. That's Evan Usri right there, the 27. Pinto Wagon, trying to get refired. Well, there goes the 32. Swing of this. Another bumper on the track. Something over there. The car just ran it over. Oh, driver's door shot. Throwing the flag again, trying to get it to stop. Oh. 
Wave the flags, guys. Don't just point them. GH Graphics red flag for this debris. About to go back to green here. Three flags are up. Here we go, back to green. Push to the corner there in the 47. That yellow one out there. Doing a lot of driving around, not seeing a lot of hitting out of him. He sees a good shot there. Found Evan Isley. Brian Nichols, the T Rudd machine. Yeah. Sides of the track. Derek Dobbs in the 32. Blue car in the center of the left hand screen. Nick Blake and Chip in the murder wagon. Right hand screen doing some damage. Just avoided the shot there. Derby Park's trackside cam. Showing you the 21 of Chris Martin. A little donut here from 480, I believe it is. That's Kelly Snyder. Red Rum. Raymond Passmore. Two, trying to back up. The rear bumper is dug into the ground. Doing a little frog hop backwards. Chandler Snell with a good shot with that green nose. Evan Ussery in the Pinto wagon. Still holding his own. There's 
22. Looking for a victim. Charles Winters watching from Muncie. We appreciate that. Yes, the green wagon is a pinto. shot. Car's starting to drop off now. Keith Jones watching from uh, Millbrook, Alabama. Thanks for tuning in. Going to see some more action tonight, that is for sure. Helfrick family watching from uh, Beckenmeyer. Thanks, Nick. Jody Braden, we miss you. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Be safe on the road. with the steering. A lot of camber. Still got both woods. Josh and Jacob. They've been owning this real estate down here in this left-hand corner. Doing a pretty good job of defending it. Troy Mitchell in the 22 circling around again. Is that an orange and white car? Uh, here he comes, right here. Troy Mitchell in the 22, big roof side. Look out. Oh, Snell with a shot. Rocked him. Six oh two X Edward Stockton. Bumper just came off of the forty seven. Well, part of the bumper, I think it was maybe just the skin. I didn't really see it. So it might have been uh, just rocker.
Compact action still underway here. Lots of action still on the track. We've still got a mod feature to come as well as the $10,000 to win main event feature. We're going to close things out on Facebook. That's going to be the last of the live look-ins thanks to Jeffy's Fab Farm giving you a taste of the action. If you want to, want to see the rest of the show, tune in at derbynation.tv. We get the rest of the night. You get a multi-pass. You can watch everything from yesterday as well. We had a noontime concert that was full of action today, and you can catch it all with a multi-pass on derbynation.tv.